This area is where it gets really cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Mina from Ion Real Estate. And here we have an absolute gorgeous property to show you today in the Aqua Revo estate in Lyndhurst. Now, as you may all know, Lyndhurst is probably one of the most in demand suburbs in the whole southeast of Melbourne. Primarily based on, I guess, where it's located, being within such close proximity to the train station, to freeways. Uh, and obviously schools, shops, shopping centers, um, and essentially it's proximity to a straight drive almost directly to the city of Melbourne as well. Now, we're not here so much, so much to talk about Lyndhurst, we're here to talk about number eight, Rainwater Drive in Lyndhurst. Now, like I said, in the Aqua Evo estate. Now, the one thing I want you to all just have a look at and marvel at is the sheer grand scale of this home you can pretty much tell right from the get-go. The facade basically looks like a bit of a castle kind of facade. Grand is probably an understatement when it, you know, with a home like this. Now, <coughs> to begin with, actually you've got a facade that is completely no maintenance. Now, you've pretty much got uh, artificial grass in uh, the front, as well as exposed aggregate uh, concreting in the driveway and throughout the whole facade area as well. However, <coughs> like I was saying, it's the style of the house as well. And wait till you see at night time, night time, this house looks absolutely stunning. Now, uh, just to give you a bit of stats on it, so it's just shy of 40 squares. It's about 39.4 to be exact. It is built by Sing Homes and the house itself is built in 2023. But the more impressive things about it are more on the inside of the property. And welcome to number eight, Rainwater Drive in Lyndhurst. Now, the first thing you guys are going to get to see as you enter the home, the one thing you'll notice is all the nice custom plasterwork, pretty much all the way through, all the paneling, all these little details that have been put in by the builder. Now, one of the things that is definitely you've noticed is the sheer size of this door. It, well, it's a massive double door to begin with. But like I said, all the little details, you kind of walk in and the first thing you're going to see is a series of porcelain tiles leading you all the way to the back living area. But the first living area where we've actually got very nice kind of a French provincial style windows. I kind of open up the curtain for you here to get a bit of an idea to what that looks like. Now, obviously not just that you've uh, got sheer curtains. You've got the first of the three living areas in the home and the configuration of the property <coughs> Um, it's certainly impressive also. We've got five bedroom, uh, four bathrooms. Now here we've obviously got internal access to the garage. Now I am probably going to take you that way and then we can come around because it's going to be a little bit easier. But as we're walking through you again, you're going to notice all the bits and pieces, all the little details, even all the way from the staircase, the lighting, um, like I said, all the little details in the house. Now here we're going to have the first bedroom which is essentially acting as a downstairs master. Now, obviously, as you can see, all the bedrooms in the house are quite fantastic in size. Now, all the bathrooms in the house as well, they've got floor to ceiling tiles and very nice stone bench tops. Uh, it's the color combination is absolutely excellent. All the doors are pretty much been upgraded as well. But this area is where it gets really cool. So <coughs> obviously the main living area of the home and one of the cool things about it, like I said, you look in the ceiling, it's everything is kind of just got that little touch of details. Here, we've got a tiled feature wall and not to mention plantation shutters um, that in some sections of the house as well. Now, obviously this area kind of flows into quite a large dining area and you can have a look at that size of that dining table to get a bit of an idea, but it's all centralized by this pretty large kitchen, waterfall, stone bench tops, um, and you've obviously got a 900 oven, a glass um, splash, sorry, splash back in here as well, and you've actually got this little additional bench space, and the beauty about it is, and you could probably notice, right under the bench, there's LED light strips, or light strips, um, underneath as well. Now, the kitchen leads us into I'm gonna call it a secondary kitchen. It is a full butler's pantry with its own cooktop, its own sink, and there's an actual walk-in pantry in here as well. 
and that part actually leads us into the laundry area. Now, one of the things that is quite noticeable in this home, you've got high ceilings basically all the way through the house as well. And before I get you guys upstairs, we're probably gonna run into the backyard just for a second to kind of give you a bit of an idea. But even here, like I said, you look at the, the like I said, the ceiling, all the little details are just quite impressive. That's why I keep harping on about it. Um, in here, we've got obviously the alfresco area and we have what I would like to comment as almost a no maintenance backyard. Um, and again, the color combination in the house is absolutely exceptional. So now that we kind of finished that spot, I want to kind of get you to the upstairs area because that's a whole other world on its own. Um, and as we're going upstairs, the one thing you'll take notice of, like I said, you've got lighting pretty much guiding you all the way upstairs. Uh, upstairs, you've actually got that third living area. <coughs> but before we get there, I'm gonna show you the other bedrooms. So we're actually gonna go to one side of the house at a time. So we're gonna go here. So here we've got bedroom number two with its own walk-in robe. Now that bedroom actually shares an ensuite, um, which is essentially, <coughs> this is the second bathroom. And like I said, all the bathrooms, floor to ceiling tiles. Now this room actually gets us into a massive walk-in robe, which leads us into bedroom number three. And right after that, we have got the master bedroom in the home as well. Again, series of plantation shutters in here. We've got a walk-in robe on that side, upgraded doors everywhere. And here we now have the full ensuite. Now obviously being a full ensuite, you've got double vanities, um, stone bench tops, and we've got a freestanding bath or semi-freestanding bath in here as well. Um, <coughs> and again, the theme throughout the whole property, there's nothing to do. A house like this, guys, very, very rarely you're gonna come across. Now upstairs, we've got this absolutely enormous third living area in here as well. Uh, downlights pretty much all the way through. Very high quality flooring, very high quality uh, light fittings. And in here, we've actually got bedroom number five. Um, so like I said, there's pretty much almost all the bedrooms in this house act as master bedrooms. This is probably one of the bigger bedrooms in the home as well. In here, we've got Again, a complete full ensuite. All of it's been upgraded with stone bench tops. Um, now, we are about to hit the market with this house in the next 24 hours. So if you want to have a look, give us a call 0401 053 553. Properties like that in this area that don't stay on the market for long.